Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. I hope everyone's doing all right. You know, it's May, and there's only one other person I know that loves May as much as me. Guess who it is? It's Doug, actually. How you doing, Doug? I'm good. I'm rocking out to our new theme song. I still love it. It's so good. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. It's got a so lot good. of pep. A lot of energy. It's got pep and a little sass. What is, what's, uh, what are we working on tonight, Doug? What do you got well, on? this here is uh, a commission that I've um, really been plugging away at for a while. Um, but I've, I've neglected it a little bit, and I wanted to, to give it some love, bring it back, and, and move it forward. So uh, essentially, I can get it out the door in the mail and into this person's lovely, lovely home. They bought a new home, and that was why it's a little, like, been delayed, because they didn't know when they were getting into their house and where it was going to go, so we've been kind of going back and forth on certain areas it could be, whether it's, you know, in the entryway, will it go on the stairwell upstairs, will it go in the living room, and they collect artwork really about water is a, is a big theme for them, and what they had done is written a poem... Uh, which they've sent me, which is lovely. And that is what's driving the artwork. Um, and based on the size of this like wooden canvas, which is really fun to work on, um, we're kind of thinking now in the space in the living room that we'll use this piece and potentially like three smaller pieces next to it um, to kind of oh, give cool. it more of a full kind of a, a fuller wall but also just kind of like make it a bit of a show area of a gallery without just having like one show piece and then she can okay. you know pull in other artists or artwork that makes sense too so yeah cool <clears throat> that's Hello, what i'd be working Ange. on how you doing hearts nice to see you looking good hey little Ange. hey Harte. i'm excited to see what you do with this doug me too I'm going to guess that there's going to be some blue involved. <laughs> Might be a smidgen. A, a, a smidge of green, even, maybe. Some aqua. Were you a big... Uh, remember that band in the 90s? Aqua? And they had the Barbie Girl songs? Was that what they were called? I believe so. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think so. I know the song. The Barbie Girl song? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. yeah that one? That's, you got it. Um, were they also the Venga bus people? It is Aqua. You're right. Um. <laughs> um the Venga bus is coming. I don't think it is the same people. I uh, I dare say it might have been a trend of that time. That oh, you know who that people. you know who that's by the Venga boys. <laughs> yes, thank you, Louis, the Vanga Boys. And they had they the Vanga Bus. Well. Yeah. So it, the, the way that those two things take up space in my brain, mm. they are the same thing. The <laughs> buses bus, and boys, Barbie all song, one. And, <laughs> no, not, not buses and boys. The Barbie <laughs> song and the Vanga Bus song is the same song. It's just like that yeah. annoying 90s music. Oh, that's Which, that's of a, course I can recite word for word and note for note, but you couldn't escape it. So big birthdays today in the uh, entertainment world. Do, 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 do. Entertainment tonight is off the air. Do, we are do, do, the do. new entertainment tonight. Thanks, Mary Hart, for showing up. You're welcome. I have my legs insured for three million dollars. Well, you've, have you seen the stems on you? My God, that seems cheap. I like to call them getaway sticks, but sure. I've heard you call them getaway sticks, and my lord, you move awful fast in those. You're just like, like, it's like two little paintbrushes. Just that's, that's like your little the, getaway the, sticks. The uh, Johnny Depp movie, uh, Benny and June. With the mm. forks and the potatoes. Um, and the, were they potatoes or buns? Buns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Buns sounds more fun than potatoes. 
this is this is a very nice <clears throat> uh, review that we just got live on on stream. Oh. It's always good to catch your stream. Your vibes are honestly radiant. Wow. And always put me in a good mood. Oh my God, hearts hey, hearts out, oh. hearts out. Yeah, now we're in a good mood. Looks like well, everybody's in a good mood. I love everyone in a good mood. It's uh, Superman's birthday today. Uh, Henry Cavill or like Superman? Uh, Henry Cavill. I don't know about Superman. Do you like Henry Cavill? Is... I I didn't see. I still haven't seen Superman. Have you watched The Witcher? Yes, I watched The Witcher and I thought he was good in that. Mm -hmm. Congrats mm -hmm. on 200 followers, by the way. Thank you very much. We have 200 followers? 200, 200 followers on the nose. Wow. Not not one more, not one less. Thanks, Harte. I'm watch, glad someone paid attention to the stats on the show. Watch somebody unfollow. Unfollow. No, 199. Oh, no. 198. Forever. Damn. 197. What are you doing? Angry Panda will be back there like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm so angry. Uh, we're definitely losing viewers, but it's okay. Uh, hey. Henry Cavill, how, how old do you think he is? Forty-one. Oh, so close. Thirty-nine. Oh, okay. He's still in his thirties. Good for him. Yeah. Just it's not barely. that he looks older, but it's just that he just looks Could good. That, yeah, and he looks good. Yeah. So then you're like, well, maybe he just looks, you know, good. Uh, it's also Chris Brown's birthday today, and we're gonna blow straight past that one and tell you it's also Adele's birthday. Rolling in the deep. Is that your favorite Adele song? Or is it now? Um, <laughs> it is now. Your rendition of it is my new favorite Adele song. I didn't think it would take much, so... Good. I, I don't know much, but neither do you. No, I don't. So how old would you... Uh, Peg Adele? Adele is? Mm-hmm. 31. Ooh. You're nope. a little off tonight, Doug. You're a little off. Oh, what's she? 30, 34. She's 34 today. Okay. Here's another question. What's her Chinese zodiac sign? Mm. I take her for a bunny or a pig. Oh, she's a, dra she's a dragon. <laughs> there you go. What do I know about that? Not much. What do you? What? What's your Chinese sign? Chinese horoscope sign? Uh, I am a hare. Oh. A rabbit. Yeah, me, me so are, too. So are, so are you. So yeah. are you. Yeah, that would make sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was actually gonna say I'm a rabbit and you're a hare, but then I was like, oh, you'll just, you'll just think I'm being. Toss. Uh, your uh, heart, hearts is a tiger, and little Ange is a snake. Oh, little Ange, it's hard for me to be friends with you, but we'll make it work. Is that true? Snakes what? and rabbits don't get along. No, just I don't like snakes. Oh, right, right, <laughs> right. Is that You're true? A snake and a, and a Scorpio. Be skirt. <laughs> Scorpio. Um, I think I'm supposed to get along with those. You're a Libra heart. Okay. Nacho Libre. Uh, what are you, Doug? We we established this on your birthday, and I, I'm an uh, I'm an Aries. Yes, and I called you a Taurus because you're on the cusp. I'm cuspy, but I'm I am what I am. You, you, and that's you are what you are, you be what you be. <laughs> and that's cuspy. Very, very true. Very true. Um, so I got caught up on... Oh, I didn't. I didn't watch this week's episode, but I got caught up on Moon Knight. It's not good. Oh, it got real good. Rowie and I were when, having a little this... private... 
Roby and I were having a little private chat. He this wanted week to talk or about last it. week? The last, the last three episodes bring it all together. So I still like him. The issue I'm... And I like the... Excuse me. And I like the... Uh, the episode where it basically... They're like, oh, he's just literally going crazy. Mm -hmm. And then the episode after that was just like, what... Is, it, I don't know. It seemed forced. Oh. But maybe this week's pulls it all together. Well, yeah. See. Mm -hmm. But I really like his acting. I, I like her, too. Uh, yeah. What's her name? I'll pull it up. Yeah, I honestly don't know her name now that you mention it. May Kalamamai. Oh, yeah. Yeah, would you say this any differently? Let me. Uh, well, I don't know. I I don't know what her name is. Like this, right here. See this? How would you May. Say uh, May Kalamaui. That's what I said, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I said. Bahraini. She's Bahraini. Mm-hmm. From Bahrain. Yeah, she's good. He's good. Ethan, Ethan Hawke Hawk is good. Oh, okay. He he's just weird looking. I I think you yeah. know where we grew up in the '90s, '80s, '90s. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a different expectation from Ethan Hawke. Like you expect him to be good looking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and he's like, so when, he's the same age as Henry Cavill. No, he's not. I hope not. No, no, he's 51. Oh, okay. I dare say he looks a little older. In this show, I mean, I don't know that he looks like that all the time, but. Well, and I will say he looks better with the short hair as the doctor than he did with the long hair as the. Monkitude, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you don't you think? I, I I I might say the same to you, Shane. I might like you with a little shorter hair than your monkey hair. Yeah, this this thing that I have going on right now has yeah. gotta go. Okay. It's gotta stop. Yeah, well, no, I'm well aware of that. Situation. Do you want me to take you to the salon or something? To the yeah, we should do a spa day. I love spa days, totally. I, I don't think I've ever had a spa day. Oh, well, there's no time like today. What? Let's go now. All right, show's over. <laughs> We're heading to the spa. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw something really weird, and I don't think it was good. Because um, I didn't feel good about it. But you remember the, the um, Where's the Beef commercials? Yes, with the older lady now they have where's the bacon for their breakfast sandwich yeah. not good but wouldn't that be where's the pork it would but that's not how they're playing it no and is it an old? Is it the same? Did they? Uh, no, those ladies have passed. CGI the. I know, but I was wondering if they CGI. No, it's new ladies, new old ladies. Oh, that's yeah. probably not good. No, it's just and the voice. It's bad. It's too bad you can't share it with everyone. Well, we can't. What's stopping us? Tell I don't me know. what's stopping us. The rules. Copyright laws? Sure. What are they going to do? Fire us? <laughs> well, they'd have to hire us first, wouldn't they? <laughs> exactly. So you hire us for blah, blah, blah. Lots of money. So what am I? <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't sure what blah, blah, blah was. <laughs> it's uh, lots of money. 
Oh. And then you fire us, but you still have to pay us mm. two weeks. At least. I know I like to get out a good three month severance. Ooh, when yeah, I'm not I go. mean, if you can negotiate that, do it. Yeah. Um, no, I, oh. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I see what they're going for. How do I feel about it? I can't say. You can. It certainly is a round muffin. It's a very round muffin. A mm -hmm. very dry round muffin. Place the bacon. Some breakfast places give you less bacon on a drier muffin. It's that voice. Place the bacon. Here's the bacon. Never microwave. Big cut. Applewood smoked bacon. Is there any bacon in this building? Nope. Where's the bacon? <laughs> I don't even know where that accent's from. Like, it doesn't come out of that woman's mouth. Where's the bacon? <laughs> That's what she's saying. She's oh, I, I heard her. Here. But, like, and then she went out there's any no bacon, bacon in the in building. The building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Zaddy. How you doing? Oh, hi, Zaddy. <laughs> yeah, I got it's my hair cut. Thank you. I can just say your name, and that's what I'd be saying anyway. <laughs> to me? No, just like in general. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Zaddy. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, it's pretty funny because I have that little sign in my backyard. What sign in your backyard? It says Zaddy's place. Is that a euphemism for something? I have this sign in my backyard. <laughs> no, friends of mine were like, <laughs> they got me as a road sign to put on my back patio. Is that a euphemism for something? I don't think so. I think you're making more of this than it is. <clears throat> I don't know. All this back patio. <laughs> An ass tattoo. Oh, no, I don't have a trans stamp. <laughs> but I I like where your head's at. Okay, so let's let's turn this into a, a you know, a question and an answer. A get to know the artist situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little, little get to know the artist situation. Well, how's she going? If you were to get a tramp stamp. Like right on the lower back? Yeah, you know where the tramp stamp goes. Uh, what would you get? You don't have a choice. You have to get a tramp stamp. It's just now the only choice you have is what it is. <laughs> Damn. I got something good, but it's bad. Do it. No. Say it. No, my mom watches. You gotta be you, Doug. <sighs> Can't. That's so good. <laughs> All right. Well, you can't use your top choice apparently because your mom watches the stream. But yeah. what's your second? Okay. Top choice. You know the best part of this is that you're not you're not saying it, and then when your mom watches the stream, she's gonna ask you, and then you're gonna have to tell her anyway. So you might as well say it on. No, stream. she won't ask. No. <laughs> she no. doesn't want to know. She knows better. <laughs> Twice bitten, once shy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, um, I don't know. This is this is tough for me because it's not something I would ever do. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like this game. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll choose one for you then. Okay. Okay.
<laughs> it's just that mine is really good, but I just don't want it for me. Well, it's too... I mean, you got to get something, so... Yeah, but I would get it... Like, if, it, if someone else was getting it, I would be like, you should get this. This is really good. Okay, well, you can pick mine, then. Okay. You want me to do that right now? Yeah, what's, what's, my, what's mine, then? Okay, yours would be... The same as my favorite. If I ever opened a burger joint, it would mm -hmm. say the same thing. Meet me in the buns. M-E-A-T. Right. So it's just words. Yeah, yeah. But like with really nice calligraphy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I would expect no less. Like the topography would be on point. Right. <clears throat> so that's your tramp stamp. What's mine? Yeah. So yours is a, a butterfly. I was says, thinking about a butterfly. It, ab above it, it says B, and underneath it, it says yourself. Oh, wow. And then people will be like, why didn't you use a B instead of a butterfly? And like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's bad. All around bad decisions. Yeah. I mean, it's. Which is good, Ange? Mine or Shane's? Meet me in the buns. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Tells a story without too much detail. See, the good thing about the way that we did that was I still got the answer out of you. Yes. Yeah. You did. I basically jumped in front of a bullet for you. You're like and that my, bullet was a, You're was like a my Kevin Costner. <laughs> and I'm your Whitney. And if I yi yi <laughs> will always <laughs> love you. And I you. I think you should get that tattoo as well. Yeah. Let's just have a tattoo tramping party. What would be amazing is maybe maybe later we could, we could draw that butterfly. Oh. The, the, the trampy one. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I it's like this. It's all coming together. It's all oh. coming together. And if I could turn back time... If I could find a way. What way would it be, West? I don't know the words after that, I don't think. Do you? Uh, only if I'm singing along. Oh, right. Yeah, me too. If I'm singing along, I know all the words to almost all the songs. Yeah, you're good like that. True. With protein. Oh. Oh. Hold your tits, Harte. It's coming up. You you want to get one f with a pro protea protea protea. Oh, I'm gonna look up the flower. There you go, Harte. It turned out amazing. Sugar bushes. Oh, well, who doesn't like a little sugar bush? Oh, uh, they all sugar bush. Everybody likes a sugar bush. Yep. Oh, these are neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me of a Gerber, Ger Gerber a daisy or whatever. Was she uh, in a steel magnolia? Uh, no, you're thinking of a magnolia. <laughs> no, I see. That sounds made, like made one of, of the... made of steel. That that uh, just sounded like one of the ladies' names who were one of the actors in that. That's cool. That's the sh that's the sugar bush. Where's the sugar? Uh, I think in the inside. Oh. So l let me ask you this, little Ange. Um, you would get this beautiful flower 
as a tramp stamp or just as a tattoo? Because just by the name alone, the tramp stamp is the trampiest of t- tattoos. <laughs> We're going to stop there. But I think, so I don't have any tattoos. I think this question was thrown out earlier. Um, Doug has a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Got a couple. I, I don't have any. But if I was going to get one, I would definitely start there. With the uh, start, butterfly? Start with, start, no, start with the tramp stamp. And then yeah. move, move around the body from there. Oh, let it grow. And it'd be gotcha. so cool to have a, a tramp stamp that kind of like branches out and ends up being a belt. Like right around? Like a yeah. WWF like championship belt? Oh my goodness. Amazing. So you'd have like a front buckle and a back buckle. <laughs> oh, geez. That's cool. Yeah. I like this one. We need to find new like things to cash in because like I just give it away for free. Uh, yeah. So also, uh, well, let's bring that up right now. Um, if anybody has any ideas for the Z Club points that you guys are collecting as we speak, God, that's so uh, for, collectible. For interesting redemptions. Uh, let us know. Discord exclamation point. Discord will bring you to our Discord. Uh, if you are an artist, which I think everybody is, you could post that in, post your art in the art channel. Uh, hats. I'm still looking for hats. I need some hats. Um, what do you think I of this like idea, Shane? Do... What if we like, is there a way to make uh, Z Club points redeemable at the online store? Uh, absolutely, because what you would do is you would redeem it on stream, and we get a message saying that you've redeemed this many points, and yeah. then we can so we can absolutely uh, translate that into an actual piece of something. Okay, cool. Uh, Let's so look ma- into ma- that. Maybe, yeah, maybe you and I can talk about that uh, uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because um, a friend of mine was saying like, oh, you should have. Doug dollars and I'm like, well, perhaps we I do. should. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what we should change the name of Z Club points to. Doug dollars. <laughs> Shane Pence. I like Doug dollars. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you like it, then it's gonna be right. Right. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. What now? Uh, Hart's posting some art in the art channel on Discord. And yeah. uh, you guys should check that out. It's super cool, digital stuff. Wow. So this is, in Unre- uh, this is in Unreal that you're doing these things? Game art, man, this is dope. Are you done? Like, yeah, um, awesome. You're done soon, like in June. Nice. Yeah, it's it's must be so neat. It must be such an interesting way to work because you're working in like you're working in an environment that you can move around in. Like real world. Yeah, this is super cool. No, game world, but like, there's, because it's not just like, you're not just doing a 3D thing, you're doing a 3D thing that is like all encompassing. It's like all around you, you can like move through it. Uh huh. Cool. Around it, come at it from every angle. Oh, yeah, this, the half closed, uh, how do you say it? Protea? Protea? I'm jumping back and forth. The flower. 
is neat, the half-closed version. Here's the half-closed version. Oh, it's beautiful. Stunner. Your deadline is tomorrow to graduate. Damn. Oh, congratu congratulations. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Ooh, I can pay for a drawing with my Z Club points. Also, with your Z Club points, you can ask Doug to draw a spe very specific thing, like perhaps a tramp stamp of a butterfly that says, I be what I be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is even funnier because it's still not a bee. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. <laughs> you know what would be funny is to get a tramp stamp of a uh, caterpillar. Because there's and so then, many tramp stamps of butterflies. And then, like, on the other side, it could be a butterfly. No, not even. Just the caterpillar. Oh. Can I get a frog? Sure, you can get a frog. Oh wow, chat is paused. What? It said chat was oh. paused. Ah, Harte redeemed what draw? 2,000 points, can I get a frog? Yes. Absolutely, okay. Can I get a so I'll, 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 I'll put it on the list for uh, later this evening. There's going to be uh, an opportunity to maybe even pick a medium. Oh, a plot opportunity. People like those. Yeah. And a medium like the... Uh, did you ever watch that show with the New Jersey Karen that was the medium? <laughs> Long, Long Island medium. <laughs> Great on so many levels. Um, yes, I, I've seen episodes here and there. I wouldn't say... I subscribe. Um, I never could get past her haircut. Oh, well, that haircut. It shouldn't be around. Is her name Karen? I think it is. I think she's the original Karen. Oh, what could be? We're not tight. That's, that is... Because uh, that's, the, that's the Karen haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my god, it's a helmet. She puts that thing on in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it comes on like a like she's in like um like, Voltron and you have to like put your helmet on before you get in your line. Like a friggin' motorcycle helmet. Seriously, look at this thing, it's amazing. Oh, amazing. It's a big word. Yes. Holy amazing. shit. No, that's not that's not her hair it is no it that's is. that's a wig well it's i'm saying well okay here look i i think like here's a screenshot from the show and you tell me that this is much different than that like this is a done up photo absolutely this is her makeup's been done her hair's been did for sure mm, mm. wig yeah maybe this is a screenshot from the show Doug is speechless. I've rendered him speechless. With what? Karen hair. <laughs> Teresa is her name. It's not Karen. So uh -huh. fair enough. Yeah. Wow. But that that uh, uh, that first one was, I think, from a promo shot. Because here is a f the full promo shot. And it looks like she put it. What? The, oh, like, my Lord. There's a lot going on there. You know what they did? They, they, uh, what's the word? They airbrushed out any strays around here. Yeah. They, they did, like, you could see somebody in Photoshop taking the lasso tool and just, like, drawing a circle around here. They would have spent a week doing that. I dig it. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. So, so, um, 20 like 1999 I, and the other one's like 2009 
This is it's it's, uh, it's friggin' something. That's mm. that's something. Hey, Ennis Brian, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Ennis Brian, how are you tonight? Real, full of secrets. Who's full of secrets? Uh, oh, you know, the Ther the medium, Tressa, and her hair. Tressa. Her hair. Her hair is totally full of secrets. And possibly oh, what's rats. That what's that? What's that? <laughs> what's that joke? Oh, do you remember um, Steve Harvey? And they were having like the uh, like the mama jokes off. No, with who? Him and who? Uh, the Kings of Comedy. There was like four of them. It was like a special they had. Oh, it, uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Bernie Mac. Yes. And who was the fourth one? I don't know. I do remember that show. It was great. So what was the what was the joke that you're thinking of? Well, it was just that. <laughs> well, we were talking about secrets, and it was just like he was just like, "Your mama is so funky." That she's so funky, oh. <laughs> oh, funky that she wore a secret and it told. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is good. That's good. I don't have the same delivery, so, you know. No, but and, it was... Uh, and nor would I try, it, ever. You did, you did a great job. I did it. I did it my way. Great job. Thank you. Now I want to know who was the first Karen. Karen, Karen. Was it it's not Karen Walker from Will and Grace? Mm. Oh, Gracie. I like that show. And uh, she's married to... Ron from... Perlman? Uh, from man, why is everything escaping me at this moment? Nick Offerman. Don't know. Yeah, you do. Ron okay. Swanson from Parks and Rec. Really? That's her husband in real life? In real life, yeah. Wow. So we got to do, we got to paint a frog and we got to paint a nacho. And I don't know who's cute, but I'll say Shane's real cute because he is. Look how cute he is. It's nacho. Nacho's oh, cute. Oh, nacho is super cute. You didn't. I, I like how you didn't want the cuteness. You've grown. So I just much. know it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Don't lie to me and tell me it's cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are biscuits. This is. Uh, this is them. She it looks a sense. lot younger. She looks a lot younger here. Yeah. Than she than she did in the nineties when she was on Will and Grace. It's the hair. You want to look old? Cut your hair off. Huh. All right. So I'm I'm getting mixed. I'm getting mixed signals here. We were talking about the long hair <laughs> earlier. The Ethan Hawke uh, dilemma, basically, <laughs> is what I'm going to call it from now on. Okay. Yeah, the the Ethan Hawke dilemma with mm -hmm. the long hair making you look gross, and then also if you cut it off, you look old. Or is it opposite for men? It's opposite for men, I believe. Secret for men. Cut your hair. Oh, you meant Doug. Look how cute he is, Doug. Yes. Oh, thanks.
A nacho, please. <laughs> I would order in some nachos tonight after the show. Okay, I think that's it. I think that there there has to be a limit on the what draw, right? I don't know. You make the rules, Shane. I'm just here for... I do make the rules. I know I'm, I'm just, just here to fill the screens. I'm just making sure I made the rules. <laughs> Oh. What'd you do? You make a new Oh, rule? you know what? Like, I have what? to accept the requests. No. Accept. I have accepted your requests. Mm -hmm, That's what mm -hmm. we'll do. You so just accept it. We have, two, we have two Dare to Flares. We have two Dare to Flares. One is a nacho. The other is a... Frog. Yeah. What's this frog? Okay, I need more backstory. So, Harte, what is the frog doing? Chat is paused again. Interesting. Oh, it's because I scrolled it. I apologize. That's no, no, it's fine. I just, uh, no, I just was curious. I'm learning too, Shane. Call it out, man. You call me out when I do that shit. Borneo eared tree frog. Eared tree sipping frog tea sipping tea from, from a, a chalice. chalice. Okay, I will, uh, I will. Your dare to flares are as fun as Shane's. I was. <laughs> Can you make a seal jumping another seal on a jet ski? And also, seal the singer is the sun? singing rose from a grave or whatever it was <laughs> it's a uh, kiss from a rose yeah Let's well everything's dead in that for me uh i will get you a picture of a borneo ear oh my god they're so cute wow okay oh sometimes they have ears and sometimes they don't oh. on the gray i thought it was a grave What do you have on your nachos when you're eating nachos? Because I used to, well, I'm well, not used to. I still have a friend who, but we used to nacho off. Nacho off? Yeah, and send pictures of, like, the epic nachos that we would make. So, like, tears and, like, beef and cheese. And oh, Oh, you thought we were crying? The tears, the tears of babies. I like the tears of babies on my nuts. Well, I mean, yes, that and truffle oil, but... You can have a nacho off. It's like, oh, I got um, ch roast chicken and uh, cheese with olives. And you're like, yeah, I got the tears of babies. And truffle oil. <laughs> it's a package deal. I mean, you get one, you get the other. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the tears of babies on my nachos would be pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to totally outdo Anthony now. <laughs> Baby tears and truffle, my favorite flavor <laughs> profile, says Hart. <laughs> Pulled pork nachos? Yeah, not bad. Oh, not yeah. Bad. Yep. yep. I personally like the classic. You get the taco beef, so you get the ground beef, but taco, spicy taco seasoning on that. Um, the jalapenos, the green peppers, the red peppers, the onions. Got to have onions. What, uh, what onions, though? As many cheeses as you can get. I like a diced white onion. Mm-hmm. Uh, three yeah. year and age cheddar uh, and feta ch cheddar cheddar yeah yeah three year age cheddar that sounds good feta mm, feta I can take and leave on nachos I like a little feta yeah, no I like feta if it's chunky and thick but I want that with like a roasted uh, pepper oh roasted red pepper and feta is great on yeah. On that. 
The chips make the deal, though. You get bad chips and... Yeah. I, more feta, the better. <laughs> oh, a chopped green onion. I'm, 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 I'm keen on that as well. I use scissors uh, with a green onion. How about you? My knife skills are good enough that I don't need to use oh, scissors. Oh, aren't you just the best? <laughs> <laughs> Throwing shade at Doug. Scissors. <laughs> scissors are for pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> you and your scissors. <laughs> Where's the bacon? <laughs> Where's the bacon? <laughs> I'll get my scissors and we'll find it. Chop green onion. I, I, I'm down on the uh, uh, sour cream. Ooh. Gotta have sour, sour cream. cream. So good. If your cream isn't sour, then why bother? You a big uh, guacamole fan, Doug? I like a little guac. I'm more sour cream, though. Yeah, me too. For me, it's the cheese. You gotta have the right cheese to chip ratio. Spring onions, chips, that's right. Chips have to be uh, crisp, too. This soggy nacho business that's been going around. Where's it been going? This business of There's a lot nachos. of restaurants where they don't they don't know what they're doing, and they, they, they do it wrong. And you right. get these nacho chips, and they're soggy. It's gross. Do you tell them that? No, I'm not rude. I was out golfing, um, well... I was indoor golfing last night, ordered a glass of wine, couldn't drink it. It was that bad. And oh, no. like bad. And so off or just bad? Off. I'm sure if it had been like from a fresh bottle, it wouldn't have been so bad. But I, I sent it back. I think they still charge me for it. Because I just don't pay attention to the bill. Um, but I asked Did they her to take it? it off. No. Because we, we had to leave. So, literally, was there for like almost two hours and couldn't drink a glass of wine. Mm. Right. Did, so you didn't, you didn't touch it. It was like... Oh, I had some because it was like two hours. I was like, well, I'll parch them swinging golf clubs. They didn't come by and check on you in two hours? Um, in the beginning, but I was into what I was doing. Yeah. In, in, Innis Brian asked, worst nachos in the city, best nachos in the city. My house okay, and so my right. house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Same here. My house yeah. and my house. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I can make some really good ones. I can make some real shit ones. I've done the uh, uh, chips in the microwave with a, you know, to be fair, not a, not a craft slice, uh, actual cheese. No, no, I don't. Yeah. We don't have acid around here, Shane. Oh, do you remember the company Christmas party that we had at the rink? Uh, no. No, I wasn't there. I didn't so work there we then. had a. A company Christmas party at a ice skating rink, which was a novel idea, and I liked it. It was a, it was cool to go skating and do the rest. But the food was literally uh, craft singles on nacho chips in the microwave. Mm. Deluxe. Deluxe. Craft slice nachos, exactly. Are you a big uh, craft slice fan? I don't remember the last time I bought them. Mm. Oh, buy oh, them. What's, oh, what's... I, I thought you were going to say from your childhood, but oh, okay. No, I, I don't remember ever purchasing them myself. Okay. But what's the use other than grilled cheese sandwiches? I don't know, because, I mean, for me, I'd go back to get that uh, three-year-old cheddar and shove that in my bread. But Well, that's that's the point, right? Like, there's a lot... 
Things have come a long way since the 80s. <laughs> One would hope. Like, tech, grilled cheese technology has improved since the 80s by a lot. Now, granted, I don't mind a white bread cheese slice grilled cheese sandwich. I would mm -hmm. eat that. Yeah. But you can also do a sour, sour dough bread, uh, Gruyere, old cheddar. Oh, Swiss. Gruyere, nice. Now I want a grilled cheese sandwich. Come pick me up after the show, and we'll go. I'm liking all the uh, foam that you're adding to this. Oh, thanks. Water. Foam mm -hmm. or bubbles? That's the question. Is it foam or bubbles? I don't need to tell you what it is. It's your interpretation. <laughs> <coughs> you can't tell me to tell you. No. You do. I you, love buddy. sourdough toast. Oh my god. What do you have on it? Sourdough bread toast, butter. Just straight ass butter. Butter. butter? Yeah. Butter. Oh, look, you just loving the butter. Montana's nachos, eh? Hmm. Where is that? It's that uh, oh, chain. Oh, Little Ange. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, haven't been to Montana's in a long time, so I don't know. They could be amazing. No comment. Oh, no one's talking? Skip the dishes. Oh, now did it arrive at a good temperature? Or did you have to reheat them? It's such a uh, crapshoot when you order food like that. Because that's when you get soggy nachos. Well, yeah, your nacho would be super soggy. I would wonder. Uh, I need about three minutes here. I just want a quick thing. Just All a right. quick thing here. Do you want me to talk to people? Uh, you do you, I'm still going to be here, so I'll still keep talking, but I just want to uh, see if I can quickly make this happen. Because Tasty glue. Gonna... Okay, this is going to be amazing. Um... Oh my god, it does sound amazing. Tasty gloop. <clears throat> Basically, I make my own pasta sauce that can be turned mm. into a pizza sauce, but I mix some of that in with some eggs and make some tomatoey scrambled eggs and then on some sourdough with some cream cheese and chives. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Shane, call up the private jet. We're flying over to uh, England and we're going to sleep over at Harte's and he's going to make us that for breakfast. So... Heart, there's a there's a channel on the Discord called Food, and next time you make that, you know, grab a grab a picture of in. that and shove it in. I'd love to see what that looks like. That could be someone's tramp stamp too. Yeah, the food tramp stamps don't go over very well. <laughs> well, what do you got there? A croissant? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, that's sourdough. It's a, <laughs> it's a sourdough uh, uh, piece of toast. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, this is just going to be the best thing we've ever done on stream. If I can make this happen, Doug. Tasty glue? I, mean, I don't want to overhype it, no. I mean, that's great, too. I like how we have a debate in chat now between Innes Brian and Arte. The what? <laughs> Tasty and Gloop usually don't coincide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you going to show something on, on the screen? Uh, I I will just just you just again you got to give me a second here I know that I'm uh, right, working sorry. slow. You're not working slow. I'm just 
Don't hyping. push, dog. Jeez. I'm just hyping you up, buddy. <laughs> I'm also going to need you to not pay attention to... to uh, you? To me and to uh, OBS, just for a little bit, okay? All right, I'll just focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, do that. That's right. Does anyone have a uh, big weekend plans in chat? What about you, Doug? You have big weekend plans? I don't. Like, fuck all. I mean, I always have stuff I could do, don't get me wrong. But I don't have plans. How about you? Uh... Sounds okay, like chat, good plans. Chat just, uh, chat just got a little sneak peek of what I'm what I've been working on. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So I have plans. Uh, little Ange, Angry Panda, and myself, uh, Nacho, uh, are going uh, out for breakfast on Sunday. That sounds amazing. A quick walk. Okay, so Doug, I, I am just gonna need you to, for a hot second here, if you could just uh, face the camera. This one? Sure, that one's Kay. fine. Yeah. Uh, face the camera and um, <clears throat> just uh, give your best Long Island accent here. <laughs> How did you uh, crop that out? I. Hold I'm on. trying just to stay, keep moving you it. Stay, you just stay still. <laughs> I'll get you there. <laughs> I need longer nails because she had like fierce fucking nails on her. You're looking good. Looking good. Like a helmet. Like a Karen. In the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Is it your sister? Your sister died? <laughs> Is it your sister died, right? <laughs> <laughs> so i i call i that called good. that, um, that I, I called that uh, doug island medium i like that i like that i i wish i was more <laughs> ready to perform um but you really kind of threw me off there so that was good on you thank you <laughs> doug island medium <laughs> You made me cry. I'm laughing so hard. Oh god, that was good. That hair though. Woo! That hair though, wow. I might grow mine back out. Yeah. You know, if you grew <laughs> So there's I think there's three things you can do with your your hair, Doug, that would that would, you know, suit the mood of what I just did there. Mm -hmm. And number one would be you don't need to grow it out, you just need to frost those tips. They're pretty frosted naturally. Couldn't you say? I could see you with, with honest to goodness, boy band frosted tips. You'd look yeah, yeah. Be amazing. I look like Ryan Seacrest. Is he at the frosted tips? That guy? He's done it all, that one. <laughs> He deserves an Oscar, a Grammy, an Emmy, and a Tony. Uh, I'm catching up on all. chat here. So there's a, a, a plea to not grow my hair out. There's mm -hmm. a grandfather figure stepping in. Oh, I don't know if I like that reference. Uh, I have not ever bleached my hair out. Do you ever use sun in? Do you remember that? Oh, well, now Harte is saying he liked my hair six months ago. Six months ago? When it was when long it on like top? Super long oh, on top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Short on the sides. Yeah, with the, yeah. I liked it, too. Oh. Well, people said I look younger now that I cut it off. But who knows? 
yeah, looking young isn't the only, isn't the be-all end-all of the... It is if you don't want to look old. Well, that's fair. <laughs> you know what, you're right. What's EGOT realness? Shane, can you Google EGOT, that for uh, me? No, e EGOT is uh, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. That sounds pretty e deluxe. E yeah, if e you have an e EGOT, the, I think the only person to have an EGOT is uh, Liza Minnelli. Well, you know what? Good for her. I don't know what suits me. Thank you, Harte, but uh, I just I just go to the barber and say, "Do your best," and he does. I think. I hope. You know, just, that's all you ever did. You go into the. Uh, <laughs> you go to the. You go to get your car fixed. Hey, man, listen, just do your best. Yeah. I totally overreacted the other day. So. I was driving my car, and as you know, it's just been like shitty here. So um, it was like two degrees on a morning, and then came home and was like running back out, and then like my rear passenger tire was signaling like, "Oh, you're low on pressure." So I was like, "Ah, shit!" So I have to go to like my chiropractor. So I was like, "I'll drop the car off." At where I normally get stuff done to get the tire check. Must must have a slow leak. You never know. Anyway, I had the car appointment, which was good because now I can move my arm, which is lovely. Um, went back and there was just like nothing. There was just like it was a temperature change. Oh, did but, they charge you for that? The no, they were really nice because I take my other cars there too. So like. Um, they're used to me showing up with a few times a year. So, yeah. No, he didn't charge me for that, which was nice. As you know, there's some people in the industry that would be like, oh, yeah, sorry, that's $27. You're which like, I would have happily paid. I, I wouldn't mind because I was like, well, peace of mind is worth a lot. But, yeah, I know what you're saying. L little Angie, you cut, you cut your own hair. You've only been to the hair salon once in about five years. Okay. Um, Good savings. Too. Good savings. It's a lot of money to get a haircut. Yeah, I think I paid 50 bucks a day. 50 bucks. Yeah, well, I, 15 I tip. 15 bucks. 15 no, bucks? 50, I, but I tip well. You go to a salon, not a barber. No, I go to a barber, yeah. I haven't gone to a salon in some time. I know the salon you used to go to. The Del Sassoon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because I was stalking you. It's because we got in a car accident uh, right in front oh, of your right salon. Yeah. While I was getting my hair done. Yeah. While you were getting your hair done, and you came out and go, and you were like, hey, what's going on here? And like, With my frosted tips. I sold my, I sold my foils in. Yeah, it, <laughs> you're like, what's going on here? It was me and uh, TJ, our buddy. Uh, yeah, TJ. <laughs> we had just gotten rear-ended, and Doug comes out with the. That's a good tramp stamp. What? Rear-ended. Oh, I thought it was. I thought you were saying you your face with frosted tips <laughs> would be a good tramp stamp. Not so good. Not so good. I was like, I don't, I don't quite understand that one, but sure. <laughs> you know what? For you, that's the one I pick for you. Your tramp stamp is a picture of your own face. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, heart. Exactly. Exactly what I was saying. Exactly. Because they're rough. In this Brian, mean. one time I got a hundred and fifty dollar haircut from a Vidal Sassoon's in Toronto, and it took two hours. Wow. Yeah, but have you seen it is Brian's hair? It's no luxurious. 
Oh, drop it in the Discord. Oh. It's a picture of the luxurious hair. That you hair know, like, cut out is your, cut unreal. Out your face and put it into hats. That'd be great. I could <laughs> I'll wear that hair. Dogs. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I dare say it borders on luscious. Oh, yeah. luscious. Yeah, who doesn't want luscious hair? You know who's got luscious hair, Doug? I don't know. You do. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, this is looking good. Uh, why don't you talk about the art for a second? Sure. Um, I just really wanted to build up some... Uh... <laughs> I'm not lying. You're lying. Um, I want to build up some of the highlights. I'll go back in and work in some of the uh, shadows, depths. I want to kind of like really have more contrast going on. But the idea is this figure is swimming in the depths looking for something, someone potentially. Kind of in this murkier, deeper area. Um, yeah. So I just really kind of wanted to play with more of the contrast between the blues lights and and uh some of the aqua greens and just kind of pull out some of the highlights more of a placement exercise at this point just to kind of see where i'm going oh now you're putting the hair on you that's cute seeing if you like it well i mean you know what you probably have enough hair that you could do that and out where you live i'm sure every stylist knows that haircut oh there is so at the local uh Gross grocery, the local grocer. Is that is that how they used to say it? I'm At the sure. local grocery store. Yeah. Um. There's a lady that works the customer service desk, mm -hmm. that has amazing hair like that, like the hair helmet that you could yeah lift straight off, put put straight on. It's like Darth Vader. Um, <laughs> yeah, you actually need the. I don't know what was that thing that he got in to take his helmet off. It's a whole chamber. It was a. Cha that's it. It's a chamber. It's exactly yeah. what it is. Doug. Yeah. A chamber. Yeah. If you got the time and money. To have a hair chamber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it up. I just go to the barber. That's fine. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling about this? What are you thinking about? Maybe some. Uh, hey, huh? Yep. Oh, I could do a little, um, uh, do you want me to do the people are asking for stuff in the chats and I can do yeah. that? Yeah. Sure. Now, and, uh, where did that ooh. go? What the That's shit? That's a good question. I see. So I guess the, the question is the medium uh, that you want to try some of these things in. Um, yeah. Uh, first, here, here's a, a reference of that frog. Yeah. Uh, just, just, just so you have an idea before we start talking about where you want to draw this. Mm -hmm. Um, so we we have options here. There's virtually or mm -hmm. virtually. Mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> it's true. The one virtually is the virtually that you are in now, right? Yeah. Uh, with maybe some paper or a canvas or whatever the heck, or right. virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, completely up to you because there's a frog and there's nacho and i can pull up a, i can get a, a reference for nacho as well while you think about this well the pickle is i won't have reference in the headset so that'll make it more challenging mm -hmm. um so i think for those i could do this reality sure all right let's do that Okay, little Ange, you're gonna need to put a a nacho picture in uh, pets for us. Please. I can start with the frog. One, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you want me to put this uh, reference away from here for you? Somewhere for me, please. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
There's one in general. Right. Okay, cool. Yes, that's a great one. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's my Discord. What, what do I call this thing? Let me pull it up on my phone, and then I'll have the reference here. What type of frog is this? This is, this is Nacho right here. Well, let's start with the... F oh, perfect. Um, and I can go to Discord, maybe get that too. Um, or if you can screenshot that and text it to me, that would be bomb. Um, what type of frog is this? I want to pull it up here so it's not clouding up all my screens. Oh, yeah, just... Yeah, lift that up if you don't mind, please, Shane. For those who can't see what I see, this probably is really annoying. What do you mean? I'm annoying. I, I hear you. Um, I want to see more of the frog. Can you push it up to cover up my face? Oh, more of it. Yeah, perfect. There you go. How's that? Gorgeous. Borneo eared tree frog is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Now I want nachos and tequila. Oh my goodness, so do I. And <laughs> do you have a favorite uh, tequila? I. <laughs> yes, it's just whatever is the most expensive. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Not off head, not off top of head, but off top of mind. No, you. So I really like a. Uh, I like it in my like... If you're asking, sorry. I like a Respado. Uh, I, oh. I, uh, Do you like a... I'm a big fan of the margarita, like the classic margarita, not the frozen margarita, the classic margarita. Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for that, I like a Respado, a nice, mm -hmm. smooth Respado. Because it's got that golden, almost uh, molasses... You know, sweetness to it. Yeah. So you like a dark tequila. Mm -hmm. Do you like a mezcal? Although I, ha uh, no. You know what's surprising is I I like, I like um, ribs and other smoky meats, but I don't like a smoked drink. Gotcha. Have I had tried the rocks tequila? Didn't know he had one. I didn't know he had one either. I do like the pepperiness of some of the tequilas, but like Respado doesn't have that. It's 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 less peppery, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, what did you say? Which which is your you, you like the? I like the silvers, like the anejos and that. Mm hmm. Those are definitely a lot easier to drink, uh, sipping sipping tequilas. Yeah. I like the. The golden respados for the uh, margaritas, where you're mixing it with lime juice, is just ooh, so good. Dangerously good. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have to give me one minute here. I'll be right back. Okay. Let me just catch up on chat. I got a jet, but love you. I'm going to try to come back. Okay. Have fun, Ennis Brian. See you when you get back. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't. when did um, he come out with his uh, tequila? Or is it like he just kind of bought in? Or is it actually like he has something to do with the production? Cool. 
Do you know what it's called? Uh, Turamana is produced by Danny Garcia. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I remember, like, uh, George Clooney and I believe it was Julia Roberts' husband, like, sold their tequila for, like, a boatload of money. So what type, is it like a variety of, of types like we were talking about earlier or do they just do like one one thing and one thing only like really well? Are we talking about tequila still? Yeah, so The Rock, sounds like he did something like George and Julia's husband might have done and uh, bought in, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's like um, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, he, he bought that what? gin, Aviator Gin. Yeah. And the story behind that was he went and he had a. Uh, ooh, what was the drink? It was somewhere in Vancouver and had a. Ne Negrano. Negroni. Negroni. Yeah. Is there gin in that? Nope. I, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't drink them. <laughs> yeah, Com say that. Campari, vermouth, and gin. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, this is the best I've ever had. And then he had like, he, he kept going back to the same place over and over. And he's like, what is making this the best Negroni I've ever had? And the guy's like, well, here's what's in it. And what was in it was the aviator gin and some other stuff. And then he, so of course he went and then bought, bought in because he's got lots of money to do that. Yeah. That's what I would do. This tastes delicious. I should make some money. Mm. Uh, we lost that camera here, Doug. Oh, do we? Sorry, everyone. We lost oh, busy your main camera. Painting. Nobody can see it. How are we doing? A little better? You're back. You're back. We have returned. Yes, Art. So, Art, let me ask you a question. With the game uh, development art course thing that you're taking, you make, like, in environments and, like, all sorts of different stuff? 2D and 3D or just 3D? It's a very interesting course. Mm-hmm. Also, can you post more stuff in art? Because it's super neat. The lighting. That's the thing with those engines is... Really, it is. Yeah, you're right. The way that they do the lighting. And because you can... You can create your art or your environment and then put the lighting on and change the lighting. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's so cool. All 3D. All... Unreal. Any uh, Unity type stuff? Anything a little bit more basic, I guess? This isn't Unreal pretty hefty. Like a husky boy. You don't like Unity? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, what's a good... Uh, I have some colleagues actually asking me, like, what's a good lightweight... 3D tool to play in? Is Blender the best one, or is there other ones that you would recommend? Too bad Roey couldn't make it. I know he's done some 3D art as well. It's true, yeah, yeah. Blender, it's free. Okay, so that makes it bad, or is just uh, super no, lightweight? No, it's accessible. Right, okay. So if, if it's something you're going to try and pick up, I mean, I'm speaking for her. <laughs> Fair. Uh, did you watch Breaking Bad, dude? Yeah, totally. You? Uh, yes. Did you? Are you watching Better Call Saul? No. 
I tried to like it. I struggled with it, to be honest. But I know you really like it. From the... What part did you struggle with? Because I struggled with the first season and a half. Yeah, well, that. I didn't get past much of the first season. Yeah, it's a real slow burn. Like, uh... Like, it's a very... It's a quite a departure from Breaking Bad. It's not if you rewatch Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. I'm not going to so, do that. So, no, <laughs> no. It's well, and for that for that reason, I think, you know, it's such a slow that Vin, Vince, what's his name, Vince Gill. No, that's the, a country singer. That, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me let me pull up his name. I have access to the internet. You never know. <laughs> uh, Vince Gil- Gilligan. Oh, what's well, close? Yeah. Um, his stuff is such a slow burn, and it like it like snowballs in momentum. And I think it's the same thing with Better Call Saul, and almost like a slower burn. Oh, okay. So you have to put in the investment to get the payoff. Uh, but it makes it hard to watch because the it's like an hour and it's a lot of n- nice shots. The uh, cinematography is great, but the story and the plot doesn't progress very quickly. There's like a lot of things that you have to infer from what they're giving you, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you like inferring? I like to work for some TV shows, but, you know, some of them, are like, they make you work real hard and the payoff isn't there. Like, the gotcha. payoff's got to be there, right? Like, you got to yeah. get something at the end, the end of the, all that work and all that thinking. I do, you know, you separate the shows, right? There's shows you can watch while doing other things. Mm-hmm. And then there's shows that demand all your attention. And if a show demands all your attention, you can't do anything else while you're while you're watching. You've got to watch it. You have to pay attention because of all this stuff that you've got to, you know, either keep track of or find the path, do the inferring as we just talked about. Like, it better be good. It better cost all. You're, pay- you're paying for it, right? Like, you're paying for it by spending all your attention. Yeah, it sounds like you're running out of attention. Is that am I inferring effectively? <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know if I if I have uh, an attention issue, but um... <laughs> I appreciate you letting me bring it back around that way, though. That's nice. But but it does seem that way in uh, real life. Right. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Sorry, I just got the music's in me tonight. Is it ever? Somebody should pay for that stuff. <laughs> oh, whoops! I got rid of your uh, thing by accident. There, I got it back. You got my fella back. It's all good. Thank you. You know what? You've been singing so much. Yeah. It's made you angry at the world. No, you just you you just get to redeem your own singing. You know. Ding dong, bang dang, bong doom. Bana now, bana now, bana now, now, but now now. Normally, it doesn't have those ears, really. Oh, that's a that's one of the images I found. Well, it has them now. Tonight's the night. Then wh- why does it? Why? 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 Yeah, exactly. Why? How come? <laughs> 
how come for uh, you do, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is apparently the real one, Doug. This is what the real one looks like. Oh, that's cute. I like this one. That one. Yeah, this one's better. Pop of color. Oh, yeah. A little pop of color there. Oh, who doesn't? I got a little pop of hair in there. Oh, there's green versions of this guy, too. I've just been going by what I've been shown. Oh, no. Red eyed tree frog. Am I doing it wrong? No, no, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. Really insulting the frog you want as a pet. Do you have any frogs right now as a pet? Do they love you back? Mm -hmm. A long time. Look at this uh, image, Doug. Oh, wow. What? That seems photoshopped, but it's very cute. It is very cute. You know, the fact that you can throw this together in 12 and a half minutes is amazing. Oh, am I still going? Good. Cameras are all working. Seems to be. Yep. Let's see if we get a old 20 minute time limit up there. Oof. Counting down. What are we down to? Hurry up. You only got 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. Woo. I, I feel I can do it. Uh, I, I, I took it down. I took it down. It's fine. I don't want to, uh, you know, undo pressure. A leopard gecko named Gizmo. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. They oh, eat yeah. the same things. Well, it just as, makes as, sense. As, then. As, as, uh, so your boyfriend and the leopard eat the same things? <laughs> <laughs> Pizza and nachos. Yep, delicious. Carb hungry ones. <laughs> Leopard gecko, eh? So, uh, Doug, just yeah. to uh, bring it back around here, just so you don't forget. Yeah. Uh, there needs to be a chalice involved here somewhere. Okay. And in, is anything happening with that chalice? All I remember from the uh, instructions from the original ask was a Borneo-eared tree frog drinking from a chalice. Drinking. Right? Is okay. that right? But I don't know if you can get it. Well, maybe, yeah. A chalice of tea. Oh, a chalice of tea. I don't know how you're going to make it known that tea is in the chalice, but... You leave that to me. Know. You leave that to me. And you know what? Maybe it's mushroom tea. Yeah. Who knows? Hence the ears, you know? Yeah. If you like mushroom tea. Oh. You like pina coladas. What's that song? Um, not that, but um. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, maybe. Thank you, thank you. But you knew what I was. T you knew. What yeah, I was yeah. No, I just like how you made that into like shares too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I could turn back time, that's yeah. exactly what it was. I yep. was doing that, but with different lyrics. You That's did. Not, it was yeah, great. Right. No, no, it was really nice. Not, <laughs> not correct at all. No, you really did. Weird. You did really good for you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you know what you're gonna redeem now? <laughs> F 
everything. <laughs> All your savings. Boom, 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 oh, boom, what's boom, this? Boom. What? Little, uh, uh, little tea emote. This is oh, tea. Nice. A little piece of tea here. Oh, Doug, have you been watching the uh, uh, hockey playoffs? I have. I watched some last night. I didn't get the first night too too much, but I watched a, I watched some last night. Yeah. Mm. Not as happy with the game last night as I was. Uh, Can you bring back my frog my reference yes. by any chance? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good job, Ange. Little Ange, pulling through. For the win? The frog drinking a tea. Top tea. If you were going to have tea right now, what kind of tea would you drink? Uh, I would have a chai chocolate tea. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah. That's what I would have. Ooh, that is good. How about you? I like a ginger lemon in the in the late nights. You're not a chamomile? Uh, I will drink a chamomile, but mm -hmm. uh, I also like the dirty chai. Have you had that? Ooh. Oh, tell me more. It's a chai tea, but it's got a little bit of coffee in it. Oh, I'd like that. I know it's called dirty, it's though. Nice. It's dirty because it's got coffee in it, and coffee is dirty in the tea world. I like both of those things. Coffee and tea or dirt and tea? <laughs> all of it. It's all good. It's great. I just like those dirty tea. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Vanilla chai latte. I don't think I've ever had a chai latte before. Oh yeah, they're nice. Is is it within twenty minutes of uh, you? What do they deliver? Her? Oh, order for delivery. Oh, who likes bubble tea? Ange asks. Um, I'm not. Do it. I'm okay with it. I don't. I don't want chewy things in my drinks. Why? I don't know. You're big it's on experiences, thing. but you love experiences. I do love experiences, but I had that experience and it, it wasn't the best. Okay. I think it's because I know it's just it's just empty calories, those bubbles. And that stopped you before when? Uh, I like my empty calories in the form of cheese. <laughs> Gouda. <laughs> I will take a Gouda, a, a smoked Gouda ball. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't put it wouldn't put it in a drink, but you know, I'd eat I'd eat that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a a fantastic Gouda man. Have you ever gotten Gouda from the market, Doug? Um, yeah. What the, what the heck is that cheese I, man? Are you name? thinking of the um... Flying Dutchman? That's the one. Yeah. It's I've gone out to his farm. Have you ever been out to his farm? No. What's his farm like? Nice? Cool? Yeah, it's out by Parsboro. Oh, hi, oh. Zeddy. Loves the uh, bubble tea. Nice. It's uh, just, just the opportunity of having balls in his mouth. <laughs> well, they're tasty. Their mouth, because I don't know who you are, Zeddy. Shouldn't make the assumption. Shouldn't Fair. The assumption. Shouldn't. Shame on you. Assumption. Shame, shame on me. Yeah. There's a lot of mouth balls going on here. Tonight or just in general? Just in general, but also tonight. But the bubble tea. So here's the question I have. Ask yes, questions. Okay. Balls in your mouth is one thing, the, but the balls don't taste like anything. They're just texture. But I like the texture. The like chewy. I, 
Yeah, I don't know. So uh, here's a question. Do you like the texture of undercooked pancakes? Uh, I'm not opposed to it because I'm a sucker for pancakes. I can't do undercooked pancakes. Undercooked pancakes make me throw up. Like worse than eggs? Undercooked eggs make me throw up. Too. Yeah. Some people don't like that, but I, I, I can rally. I can rally a creamy scrambled egg, but it's got to be creamy and not snotty. Anything that's snotty, I can't Fair. do. I understand that. Snotty's not ideal. You no. can have flavored balls. You can make the balls flavored. Flavored like what? Mint? Oh, <laughs> mint would be good. What did I have the other night? I had some mint balls the other night. There was oh, a snowball. Some balls. Yeah, it was in the uh, the dry barrel sauna with my friend Joel, and had um, he had made like snowballs to melt on the sauna, and they were minty flavored. Whoa! Okay, back up. You're in a dry barrel sauna. Yeah. And you have minty balls to put on, on the, the stove. And you ate them or you just put them No, on no, they just like they open up and like let the uh oh. peppermint out so you can take it all in. Oh, take it in. Take it in. Yeah. Jeez, that all sounds good. Don't eat yeah. the yellow snowballs. Absolutely do not eat the yellow snowballs. No. Uh, also, not. apparently, don't eat the minty snowballs. No. It's they not, burn your Not innards. for eating. Oh, innard burning. Yeah. I'm, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> you despise the texture of pickles and tomatoes. Interesting. Tomatoes, eh? That is interesting. The, tomatoes... Or just juicy, right? Well, usually. Oh, passion fruit tea with mango balls. Yes. Okay, so maybe I'm I've not really fully. You need to go with someone who knows what they're tea. doing. Yeah, exactly. I got bubble tea and I was like, this is stupid. Why would anybody get tapioca balls in their tea? This is dumb. And then I just have just was not there with somebody who knew what was all right um because i was there with myself so zaddy where in the world are you we on our way over for breakfast we'll pick you up in the jet those sticky ones no yeah brown sugar tea oh Ooh, sugar tea. i like brown sugar All right, there's 15 minutes left in the show, Doug. What are, what are, how are you doing on this uh, Dare to Flare? I'm working on it. Uh, do you want me to stop working on it? No, I'm, I'm just calling at the time, letting you know that there's a thing. And also, you know what we forgot to do when we started this Dare to Flare? What? We forgot to give you the old... Which is not right, but let's try this one. That's right, everybody. It's a Dave to Flav. So flavorful. So flavorful. A Dave to Flav. Um, I saw Kids in the Hall have a reboot coming out. Yeah. I wanted um, to ask you about that. Okay, so I'm very worried. Oh, totally. I'm not even interested. Oh, I'm super interested. I I thought I'm Scott Thompson died, it. to be honest. I didn't know he was still alive. I saw him here not too long ago. Oh, how was he? It was amazing. He was so good. Oh, it was good. so funny. Yeah, yeah. He. Uh, Why he didn't had... you ask me to go? What's was I? Because it was a last minute thing and somebody said to me, hey, I'm going to the Carlton to see Scott Thompson. No, to see uh, Greg Proops's podcast. Do you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, 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 absolutely. I'll go. And then when we went, it was, Scott Thompson was opening for him. Wow. And he was so funny. 
He was so funny. Yeah, I love him. And, and of course, like seeing him and Carlton's like, there's tiny. not a lot of seat there, right? Yeah, it's tiny. So seeing him in like right there. Uh, uh, and yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. He was good. Uh, and the Proops podcast was really good too. He he's uh, he's quite a smart fella. Okay. Oh okay, don't know him. Uh, he's uh, whose line is it anyway? The guy with the glasses. Oh, I do know who you mean. Yeah. So, as far as this like kids in the hall reboot goes, there's. There's three ways that this can go. Mm. It can be, oh, that that's cool. It can be, oh no, that destroyed everything they ever did in the past. <laughs> or it could be, oh, thank God they put something out. Yeah. I guess my, my concern comes down to how Foley was on that show I tried to watch that I couldn't get into. But see, he was playing the long game and he didn't have enough time to play the long game. Because he's old? Because, no, <laughs> I, I've seen his, uh, he does well as guest starring on other sitcoms and he's done well with some of his uh, commentary. So his story is super tragic. Uh, he had to do all this work because so he made massive money on news radio, which is one of my all-time favorite sitcoms. Um, and then him and his wife split up, and his wife took him for every penny. Yeah. And so he had to work. He, that's why he did the poker tour stuff. The WPT poker tour. Oh, I didn't and know that. Yeah, and a bunch of other commentating gigs. And I don't know if he's out from under that uh, money, but yeah. Yeah. The gist was they split up when he was on news radio making, uh, you know, 90000 a week or whatever. And so his uh, spousal support is based off of that money when they split. And of course, you're not going to maintain that as an actor. No. So he's not making that now, but he still had to pay her 35000 a month or something when he wasn't even making that. And he went to the, and I'm not telling you any secrets because this is all in his uh, WTF interview. Um, he had to go, he went to the judge and said, look, I don't make this kind of money anymore like i can't afford this and he and the judge's response was your inability your inability to make this money does not negate your responsibility to pay it uh -huh. Sad state of affairs. totally so long story short i really hope it's a good show yeah yeah. Did no, you watch too. the movie? Their movie? No. What platform can I watch it on? Uh, I don't know. I bet... Who's putting out the new one? Prime? I think it's Prime. Then probably Prime. Mm -hmm. Whoever's putting out the new one most definitely got the rights for the old one. I'm looking it up. I can't find it. It's okay. So I'm just really focused on the the steam that people will know it's tea. Tapioca gets a nice, sweet, and slightly smoky flavor. Kind of how the brown sugar is. I don't know if I call it smoky, but I can't quite pinpoint the flavor. Beautiful. 
Oh, Zaddy, you're in the San Francisco, California. Oh. California. Nice. Was there a few years back. Oh, I know why I said that. Because your name is Shane and my name is Shane. Although yeah. there are Lady Shanes. That's true, true. And also, why make assumptions anyway? Mm hmm. I'm really going back about 12 minutes here. <laughs> it's catching up. Yeah, it's fine. Let's move forward. You know what, Hart? It was nice talking to you, too. You're off? No, they were just saying that it was nice that you stopped by their stream, and then I was saying that I it was me that did it. I stop by the stream sometimes. I know. I, uh, that's, I think, the point. Oh. I don't get there as much as I'd like to. Stealing the thunder, Doug. I'm stealing the thunder as I do. You're like Tom Cruise. Are cute. Ah, that's days of thunder. Days of thunder, Doug. Days. You're, you're, just, you're a man of days. So many days. Thunder. Uh, when I stop by your stream heart, it would be under ARG5. That's who I am. That's me. This is me here. Hello. All right, I'm going to stop. It looks great. I love it. Can we get a little uh, zoom in on that? Oh, sure. It's got this gold chalice of tea smoking up. Oh, a gold... A Gold chalice. This is resting on the leaf. It. The froggy legs. I'm liking it. This one too. <laughs> Dang. Mm. It's that mushroom tea. Mmm, like, tea. Mushroom tea. <laughs> so high. So high. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll save nacho for next week? Totally, yeah. We'll totally do that. the nachos in the in the early days, in the early bits. Mm -hmm. Get right to it. I apologize, little Ange, for not getting uh, to that this stream, but we will most definitely get to the nacho. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you for the suggestions. Uh, yes. No, thank you, Doug. Happy to be here. It's a great show. Thank you, yes, everyone, thank for, you like, everybody hanging for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Love to see you. Um, and we'll be back next week, next Thursday. Yeah. At the at the regular old time. Doing nacho stuff. Oh, you know what? Uh, oh. Before we go, okay. Uh, I definitely wanted to make sure that this week we raid somebody. So oh if yeah. If anybody has any suggestions? Yeah, let's raid someone right raid, now. Uh, please drop the uh, suggestions in the in the chat. Let's find somebody. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, somebody that's doing art would be good. Somebody that has a similar viewer count or or lower would be good. And somebody that's doing something similar to what Doug does would be good as well. So uh, yeah, uh, outsourcing it. Let's crowdsource the raid source here. Let's find somebody. Yeah, Shane's got a lot of rules raid. about raiding. Just... <laughs> I, I like I, I'm very specific about what I like and they can't be over five foot nine and um, yeah, you don't need you don't need a challenge in height you know that's you can uh, yeah Harte that sounds great are they streaming right now yes you can definitely suggest that let me uh... is that midgelings like I'm doing right. it Oh, All right, I everybody. Like, I like mature audiences. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. We really appreciate you guys yes. coming here every week. Um, we're gonna raid this person. I don't know anything, but uh, it's a it's a heart approved. Let's do it. So we'll see you guys over there. Thank you so much. All right. See you next week. Yes. Take care, everybody. Good Bye. night.